Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so um, before I get started, I'm not sure I have too many things to say. I did wanna show you guys a few pieces. This is um, the piece that I did the tester on where I proved where the Artist Loft old bottle of white paint worked perfectly fine compared to the other. This um, has now a coat of resin and it is ready to go to its new home. Um, so that turned out really well. I'm gonna put it aside. And I wanna show you the dried result, which still needs resin, but the dried result, look at that. I love this piece. I'm so happy with this piece. This is gonna be amazing with crystal resin on it. Try not to knock anything over here. Look at that. That is going to shimmer and shine with uh, crystal resin on it. Very excited about that. Um, all right, so did you see the Great Switcheroo Part 5 intro? So don't forget to mark your calendars. June 27th, we are going to have so much fun. I have been working on that piece for about four weeks now, and I'm happy to say I finally finished it the other day, and I cannot wait till you guys see what I did uh, for this piece, for this video collaboration for the Great Switcheroo Part 5. Um, so yeah, I've been working on it for four weeks. Um, lots of steps, lots of process. So I'm glad it's done. I can't wait. Stay tuned. Mark your calendars. Um, I'm super duper excited, as we all are, me and the rest of the ladies. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, thank you to everyone who has been heading over to my son Lucas's channel and watching his videos. That is greatly appreciated. If you are a new viewer of mine and you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would hit that red subscription button uh, and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that very much. Um, merch is still for sale. If anyone is interested in merchandise, you can find pictures of merchandise in my Instagram feed or on Facebook, my Facebook page. Uh, under the photo albums, there's an album just specifically for merch and pictures of merch. Um, and that's it. If you ordered aprons, they've all been mailed out. So they're all on their way. If you ordered a waterproof apron, they have been shipped out. I think that's it. I think that's what I'm going to say for now. Um, and let's get started. So if I think of anything else, I'll let you guys know. But... This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Uh, I'm going to do a black base. It's been a long time since I've done a black base and I wanted to try some fun stuff with these pearl colors by Amsterdam and I'll get to that in a minute. So in the meantime, I'm gonna flood this canvas super quick. I'll be right back. everybody I'm ready to go I noticed that there is a reflection from my lights this is the one problem when you're working with black there's a lot of reflection going on and like really odd let me just see if I can fix this maybe darken it a bit and without knocking things over maybe back my light up a bit maybe that's better see I can't see anything I'm totally blinded by the light on the table. All right, so what I wanted to try is I wanted to do the pearl um, colors by Amsterdam. Now you can see they're all, they all look white, but on a black base and in certain light, they actually shimmer in the color that they are. So this one's pearl red. So let me go through the colors really quickly with you guys. So we've got pearl red by Amsterdam and I'm gonna match it up with Cronacodome Crimson by Holbein. Then I have Pearl Green by Amsterdam. 
and I'm going to put Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebeo. Then we have Pearl Blue Amsterdam with Windsor Blue by Windsor Newton. And then we have, almost dropped that. Then we have Pearl Violet by Amsterdam, topping it off with Windsor Violet by Windsor Newton. All right, so that is what I'm gonna do. Now, I don't know how these colors are going to show on the black when it's wet, but I can guarantee you when they dry, you will definitely see the paint shifting in the color, the color shifting, uh, duh, Canela, the color shifting when um, you put it in the light. So let's start, let's see, what are we doing today? What shall we do? Just something simple. All right. And a wispy up there. Okay. A lot of people have been asking newbies um, where I get my squeeze bottles from. They are from Loli Vefi. Uh, all that information is listed in the description below. And you can save 10% off using my discount code Canela10. Now I'm hoping these aren't, this isn't a lot of paint that's going to go on here because that's a lot of color. Oh, I can already see the green shift in that. Uh, what else did I want to say? There's something else I wanted to say actually. Um, this isn't what I wanted to say, but something else I just remembered is sometime next week, I am going to be visiting my friend at Crystal Resin. So I, now that lockdown is over here in Ontario, I am finally going to pick a day and head on down to the Crystal Resin Warehouse and I will do a video um, while I'm there. Not a painting video, but I will um, record a video showing you guys the warehouse and all the great stuff and products and everything they have, uh, you know, all that great fun stuff. And uh, I'll show it to you guys in an upcoming video. And there's going to be a special discount code um, because I'm going to go visit. So there's going to be a special code. So you're going to have to stay tuned for that code. And uh, you're going to want to shop when I have that code ready for you guys. So thought I'd, oops, thought I'd let you guys know that. So stay tuned for that because that is coming up. All right, that doesn't look very you know, colorful, does it? But again, uh, I can personally see the difference in the shimmer there, but this is gonna have to dry in order for you guys to see, or at least hope, and see how pretty it's gonna be once it's dry. So, oops, I broke the base of my torch there. All right, so I'm going to blow into the negative space this way first and then work my way around the rest. Wow, I am so not used to blowing the paint out and it moving like so smoothly. I haven't used black in a long time and obviously it's the proper concoction with, you know, the, the good paint, you know, before they decided to switch it up. Now, I don't know if they switched up black or any of the other colors. All I know is about the white and clearly the black is not an issue. So, and for anyone who's new and watching, the ratios of how I mix my paint in this and in my little squeeze bottles, you can find in video number 63, I will link it up at the top for those of you who are new. But 
wow this is so pretty now when this dries there's going to be a lot of different you know shimmers happening here but look at the green it's almost like a lime green super cool i really like it it's just a matter of what's it going to look like when it dries it's going to be the interesting factor of how it's going to look when it dries but boy oh boy was it ever easy to blow that out i miss that i really i think about that color split I just showed you earlier and how hard it was to blow the paint out it was insane this was so easy and I'm looking at it and there's nothing I want to do there's nothing I'm going to touch so I'm going to clean up my sides and I'll bring you guys in for a close-up be right back all right everybody so I've cleaned up the sides I've scraped all the drips as you can see now, I apologize for the glare, but that's what happens when you work with a black base. You get a really funky glare. But look at, see, the black doesn't have the same issue as the white does. Because as you can see, it clearly did not swallow up the colors at all. That green yellow looks so neon and bright. I love it. What an interesting piece. Look at the cells. So the black definitely works, clearly. All right, I don't know how much we're gonna see with the flash on, but I'll give it a go, one second. All right, guys and gals. All right, so it's not actually dark here in the studio because it's actually still pretty light outside, but I'm hoping, yes, you can. You can definitely see the shimmer. It'll be interesting to see um, what it's gonna look like when it dries, because you see that there in the black. That's the pearl violet, the blue, you know, the red, all that. So when this dries, we'll see what it's going to look like. But I love that. Like this green is just so vibrant. It's amazing. But there's definitely shimmer. You can definitely see the shimmer. It's just hard when it's not nighttime and it's not pitch dark in here. I'm not complaining. I love it when it gets dark late. All right, so there you have it. Let's turn the lights back on. All right, everybody. So there you have it. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on this piece. Um, you can comment below and let me know what you guys think. Uh, this piece is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. As I mentioned, it is a 16 by 20. You can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com or if you're interested in any other pieces I currently have available. Uh, I have about 10 to 12 pieces available at the moment. If anyone is interested to see them, please email me. Uh, or if you're interested in commissioning a piece, I do uh, commissions as well for those of you who are interested in your own color palette. Um, everything you need to know is listed in the description below. Links to Amazon. If you shop on Amazon, you click on the link. It actually helps me um, without it having to cost you a thing. So if you click on the Amazon links and go shopping, I'd be truly grateful. Um, discounts, Crystal Resin, Loli Vefi, uh, there's glitter discounts if you want to, you know, shop for some glitter and stuff like that, resin molds, all that fun stuff. Everything you need to know is in the description below. So check that out and don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell. I think I'm rambling now. Yep. Oh, I'm in the process of getting 2020 calend 2022 calendars ready. So keep that in mind. I will have a full calendar year for 2022. I will um, keep you guys updated on that in the next uh, couple of weeks. So that's it for now, guys. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.